lost your touch, girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Exactly how an investigation would be carried out. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victim. Sean Mars! Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown! But it's some kind of a... What? <sighs> Shit, it needs a password. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Get in I won't be able to breathe for much longer. A few minutes at most. Consciousness in a few minutes. 
Unless I do something now.
I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. sacrifice himself. I'll find you. Whatever it is. It's over, Shelby. Your evil little game is gonna come to an end. You're gonna spend the rest of your life rotting away in jail. You're the only one who knows who I am. And I'm gonna make sure that you'll never talk. Your father was an alcoholic. He was just some poor guy who was so messed up with alcohol that he couldn't save his son. You know nothing about what happened, you hear me? Nothing. He never cared. We were just something to beat on. A punching bag for his filthy anger. He let my brother die. You can't let the kid die, Scott. He's not responsible for what happened to you. Only his father can save him. For years, I hoped a father would sacrifice himself to save his son. Every time they failed, it was as if my brother dies again. I understand you, Scott. There's nothing harder than not being loved by your parents. You must have been very brave. It wasn't bravery. It was love. I held John's hand while he was drowning.
Save me! Please, save me! Breathing. Shit, he's not breathing. Oh, come on, breathe. Uh, breathe. General relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. And news of a happy ending tonight as police commended the courage and tenacity of Madison Page, a reporter covering the Origami Killer story. Miss Page was a critical factor in the successful resolution of this case. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. You're free to go. Dad! Sean has been waiting to see you for weeks. I thought you might like him to be here as soon as you got out. Ethan, I... 
I'm sorry. Promise you'll never leave me again, Dad. I promise, son. I never will again. Our next guest is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? For John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. I'll pass. Jane and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. I understand. Hey, sir. I still have his glasses. What should I do with him? Well, we won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want with them. <laughs> 